In this video, what we want to do is find the sum and product of the roots of each of these quadratic equations. Now, to be clear, I'm not looking to find the roots of these quadratic equations. I'm looking to find the sum and product of the roots. So, you know, I, I can put these quadratic equations into my quadratic solver, my calculator, and find the roots. I'm not interested in that. I want to find the sum and product of them, OK? Now, if you think back to the previous video, OK, um, what you could say is that if you've, let's say you've got uh, your quadratic equation. If you divide through by the a first, right, you could then get it into a factorised form. If you know your alpha and beta uh, are the roots, you'd be able to get it into that form. So I've divided through by the a, and I can just factorise it to that. If I expand this, I get z squared take away alpha plus beta z plus alpha beta equals zero. This is what we saw last time. But the thing is, right, this is what makes it this process very straightforward and easy, right, and you can overcomplicate it if you're not careful, is if you just divide through by the coefficient of the z squared first and make sure you've got one lot of z squared, then you can read off directly the alpha plus beta and the alpha beta. That's the sum of the roots, that's the product of the roots, and you're done. Okay? So with this first one, we've already got a coefficient of 1. So I can read off the sum of the roots straight away. Now look at this minus sign. Okay? So you've got minus alpha plus beta times z. So alpha plus beta needs to be minus 3 in order to have take away minus 3z to get the plus 3. So the alpha plus beta is minus 3. The alpha beta is just the bit at the end. And so that's minus 5. And that's what I needed to find. OK, that's all. So it's as easy as that. Number 2, the coefficient of z squared is 2. So I need to divide through that first. So z squared take away 4z plus 9 halves equals 0. Once I'm at that stage, I can write down the sum of the roots, which has to be 4. Remember, it's take away, so 4z, take away 4z. So that's got to be 4. And the alpha beta is the bit on the end, which is the 9 halves. OK? Right, this one, I need to divide through by 5 first. So z squared take away 6 fifths equals 0. So the sum of the roots, well, the coefficient of z here is 0. So alpha plus beta must be 0. And alpha beta must be the bit that's on the end, minus 6 fifths. Last one. I need to divide through by the 8 first, so z squared take away 9 eighths z equals 0. So the alpha plus beta, right, has to be the 9 eighths. OK, what's in front of the z there? The minus is already taken care of, so that's 9 eighths. And alpha beta must be 0 because there's nothing on the end. OK, so this means that one of either alpha or beta must be 0 in order for that to be the case and for them to add to 9 eighths. OK? So that is what we can do uh, in order to find the sum and product of the roots. It's very, very easy, very straightforward to do. Uh, just don't overcomplicate it.